Hello, welcome to Yinka and Friends. Today, I'm in Forbidden Planet, talking to Tanya Fear about her up-and-coming play and her role in Kick-Ass 2. So I want to say thank you for coming. No problem. How did you get involved <laughs> in um, Kick-Ass 2? Um, well, I auditioned for it about a year ago. And um, the character, my character Harlow, is a couple of years younger than I am. So I decided I'd go to Asda and buy a school uniform. <laughs> and then I went into the room wearing the uniform. Yeah. And um, I told them, you know, I had to bunk off school to be there. and. <laughs> Just made up this whole backstory, <laughs> and they liked it, and had a couple of recalls, and I got it. So tell us more about Harlow. I know that she's like a mean girl. Yeah, so she's part of a gang of um, there's three of us mean girls, and we're kind of like the evil Barbies of the school. And Hit Girl basically goes back to school, and we terrorise her. And yeah. Do you have like any powers? No, other than being mean. Being mean. <laughs> Like me and Ella Pennell, who plays Dolce, are kind of like a two-headed demon, kind of like, got nothing nice to say. <laughs> so you've got loads of famous people in it, Jim Carrey, yeah. to name one. Yeah. How was it working with somebody so sort of legendary? Amazing, amazing. Actually, Jim um, threw a party for the cast and crew, like on a boat. And um, so I got to meet everyone before I got to set. Oh. Um, and it was like karaoke and like lots of fun. So I felt really comfortable and but it, I mean, it's amazing to work with people who are like at the top of their game, so. And what was your favourite thing about working on Kick-Ass? Apart from the name, obviously. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. So many things. I mean, it's just like, it's a different level, really, with Hollywood films. It's like massive crew and, I don't know, like amazing sets and it's just a lot of fun. Is it very different to working in theatre? Yeah. Yeah, in the sense that, you know, you can do a couple of takes. I mean, they're not going to give you all day, but... How do you get into a character? Like, usually, do you listen to music or um, like, meditate? I, I went to a play and I, they were meditating. Really? Yeah, so... No. <laughs> no. Thank God. <laughs> I mean, I suppose, you know, you do acting classes and stuff and you, you learn your various techniques, but I think you've got to pick what's right for you. And for me, I... I love getting into accents. So, you know, in kick I play an American mm -hmm. and in my play I play as Zimbabwean. So I'm always analysing people, I'm always people watching, trying to get different, I don't know, mannerisms out of yeah. people. So, I don't know, It's for me it's more about observing and, and absorbing. So yeah. you're working on a play at the moment. Mm -hmm. I, 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 like I said, the name, the thing is it sounds amazing. I know it's the adventures. The epic adventure of Namo the Manika Warrior. And his sexy wife. Chipo. Yeah, so yes. tell us a bit more about that. It's a comedy and um, it's basically a narrator's trying to put together the ultimate African fable. Okay. And he kind of enlists different African superstars to help him do this and it's, yeah, basically it's just really it, it funny. It sounds a bit spoofy. Like, yeah, like, don't definitely. Don't juice in the hood while... Yeah, yeah, definitely. It is very spoofy and I, I'm playing a Zimbabwean princess and I've kind of based it on my mum because I'm half Zimbabwean so she's kind of feisty like my mum. Yeah. So it's at the Tricycle Theatre? Yeah. And tell us a bit more about your character. Um, so I'm the sexy wife, yes. Chipo, and basically she's kind of a diva who who turns up to, you know, to perform, and she's kind of just like the girl, the girl of the group who's. A bit of, a bit <laughs> what do you prefer? Do you prefer <laughs> theatre or film? I can't. I can't choose. Um, Are they really different? They're just. They're just so different. Yeah. With theatre, you get that instant gratification. You know that the audience is there and you're fully engaging. And whereas with film, you know, you you do the film and it won't come out for like six months or more than that. So do it's you kind of like not forget about it, but it like dies down inside? Yeah, sort of. So you know, now that the release date's approaching, I'm kind of getting a bit more like oh. But um, yeah, it's just so different. I can't. I can't choose. Okay, and when you're not acting, even though you're quite busy now because you're doing yeah. the play and mm -hmm. as well as the movies coming up, mm -hmm. what do you do like apart from like to relax or? Ah, oh, I love going out for meals with my boyfriend who's standing there. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I just love going out with my friends. I mean, basically everything I do in my spare time is food related. <laughs> it's always fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, what can we expect from you? Like the summer's massive. But yep. afterwards, what have you got in the pipeline? Uh, well, I just finished uh, filming Some Girls, which is a BBC Three comedy. So that's coming out. 
and yeah, I'm just kind of seeing what happens from there. Just filming. Yeah, and filming, doing play. Yeah. So how would people find out more about you? Uh, well, I'm on Twitter at Tanya Fear, and I've also got a fashion blog, which is tanyafear.blogspot.co.uk, so they can find me on there and see my style. I've actually fashion. got one more question that I think everyone wants to know. Yeah. Is Fear your real surname? It is. It's wicked. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's absolutely wicked. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't have to kind of change my name to... No, no. You know, it's just you were just born ready. Born ready. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in Forbidden Planet. Yes. You're going to show me around... Yes, I will. ...a few comics <laughs> around your house. <laughs> yes. Thank you for coming. Thank you very and much. Let's go.